So in today's video, I'm going to introduce our new arrival content lab, which is one and only Christine from Hapa Christine. So Hapa Christine is quite a new brand for you guys, but I'm pretty sure you will fall in love with this content lens. Hi Coco! Hi BDs! Welcome back to Hi Coco's channel. We are beyond excited to finally bring you the much-awaited content lens brand, Hapa Christine. Yay! Their trendy and cool branding has caught our attention and we know you've been eagerly waiting for this moment. Hapa Christians are known for their contact lenses that are made to fit whatever mood you are, so it's perfect for daily use. Kicking off with our first Hapa Christine EOTD is their bestseller, One and Only Christine. Inspired by the doe eyes of Hapa Christine's muse, Ice Wanyang, which is why this contact lens is also known as Wanyang Contact Lens. I can't wait to dive into the journey of meeting these contact lenses, one and only Christine together. So, let's take a deeper look into this popular contact lens from Hapa Christine. Let's get started! Specifications The one and only Christines are monthly contact lenses with a base curve of 8.7mm, diameter of 14.2, a graphic diameter of 13. It's actually the same as Olen's BB ring. The material used is a combination of PC and silicone hydrogel. This material combination makes for lens that are really comfortable to wear even after many hours and water content is 48% so it doesn't dry out your eyes. The one and only Christine series comes in three pure toned color, one and only Christine brown, gray and beige. Let's take a look at the graphics. The one and only Christine unique design pattern has taken one year to be completed. When I first see the graphics, they might seem too vibrant, but once I put it onto my dark brown pupil, it blends seamlessly and naturally, making it look like my own eye color. Because the graphic diameter is 13mm, it also gives a very, very natural look. The graphics are created as if your eyes are twinkling. If you look closely at the graphics, you can see two different patterns that are created with thin and delicate strokes as if they are hand drawn on, which are now known as Hapa Christine's signature style. I've noticed that even when the color remains near the edges, it fades softly and very gradually to the edge of the iris, so there isn't a harsh and defined lines. You know some of the contact lenses that actually aims to be very popped up, but with very strong graphics, it's really difficult to vary for daily use. But the Hapa Christine one and only series are so subtle, so perfect for daily use. So now we've looked at the graphics, let's take a look at the, each of the color closely. Shall we start with the one and only Christine brown? This is what I'm wearing now. Overall, the contact lenses are a cool toned brown, especially towards the edgy of the contact lens. However, as the graphic moves in towards the pupil, not only does the color get cooler, but the graphic density fades. The lens is almost a grey toned base accentuated with the beautiful brown highlights, giving your eyes a subtle yet captivating allure. It's perfect for those looking to enhance their eye shape without overpowering their features. This color blend creates a soft and natural look that complements a variety of iris colors. It sits on my pupil perfectly, it doesn't move around, it's so comfortable to wear. Let's move on to the one and only Christine Grey. I would say one and only grey and brown colors are actually look quite similar, however the grey lens leans towards a soft black with a grey undertone base. The grey colour shines through as the graphic moves towards the pupil and it creates a nice sleek eye look. But that doesn't mean it's not natural. On me, this grey colour looks so deep because I think my original pupil colour is dark brown so it's more like defining my shapes. So I would say it's really depending on your eye colours. If you have light brown eyes, the grey looks more brighter, whereas dark brown eyes will have a grey colour that looks more deep and cooler. So your natural eye colours will interact with this grey contact lens in a unique way. I would say one and only grey colour gives a sultry mood than the one and only in brown. I think this grey contact lens is really really suitable for the cool tone beauties and um, cool tone makeup as well. So if you want to give a highlight to your look, 
this grey contact lens is the one to try out. Last but not least, one and only Christine Beige. The one and only Christine Beige colour is Hapa Christine's newest edition. After so much love with the brown and grey colour, a lot of people ask for a toned up and brighter colour contact lens. So a beige colour was created. Hapa Christine describes it as a natural bright beige colour which I can totally see when I compare to the brown colour. It's a lot lighter and the highlight at the bottom of the contact lens is more visible with a very warm tone. A true warm beige that may show up brighter if you have lighter brown eyes. The contrasting between highlight colour and base colour harmoniously working well with their unique gradation. That creates refreshing and naturally defines your eye shape. This is one of my favourite contact lens giving me a softer and fresh appearance. So I feel like I would like to use it for every day. So this is the end of today's video. How was it? With the new contact lens brand Hapa Christine, I'm so excited to see what all beauties to think of this brand and their new contact lenses. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, bye beauties, let's be pretty!